And then my most favorite thing. Oh my god, I'm nearly falling. <laughs> Happy New Year! This is going to be my first video of 2022. It's going to be a vlog and in today's vlog I'm going to be showing you some of the presents I got for Christmas and I'm also going to be redecorating my entire bookshelf because I have a few books that I need to add. First of all some Christmas presents and also a few books from January's Book of the Month because this video is in collaboration with Book of the Month. If you don't know Book of the Month is an amazing US-based subscription service for readers and every single month that team goes through dozens of new releases and they pick their five most favorite ones so you as a reader don't really have to do the research and you can just choose whichever of these new releases you would like to read next. Their service is also completely risk-free so if you would like to skip a month that is no problem at all you will not be charged and you can just start whenever you want again. Do keep in mind though that book of the month currently only ships to the US but because the majority of you guys that are following and that are watching my channel are from the United States so many of you can enjoy this brilliant offer because if you use the code Brit, you can get your first hardcover new release for only $9.99. So let's take a look at the five January books. Can't believe I'm saying January. How is it January? <laughs> They also pick the most beautiful covers for all of the books for this month. The first one is called Reckless Girls and it says one island, six visitors and countless secrets. Ooh. Next up we have Fiona and Jane absolutely obsessed with this cover. A witty, warm and irrelevant book that traces the lives of two young Taiwanese American women as they navigate friendship, sexuality, identity and heartbreak over two decades. Very intrigued by this one. Next we have a romance, love and other disasters. There's nothing like a little competition to heat things up. The fourth one is called Black Cake. We can't choose what we inherit but can we choose who we become? And lastly the Magnolia Palace. Fiona Davis, best-selling author of The Lion of Fifth Avenue, returns with a tantalizing novel about secrets, betrayal and murder when in one of New York City's most impressive gilded cage mansions. So these are the five January books. However, I also want to quickly discuss The Maid. This is one of their add-ons. So if you are a new member or an existing member and you don't feel like reading one of these five books, you can also choose this one. There are loads of different books on the website that you can also choose from. So this is called The Maid. A dead body is one mess she can't clean up on her own. So excited about all of these books, but because I got all of these new books, I need to put them on my bookshelf as well. That is also the reason why I'm going to be redecorating. So again, if you are from the US and you would like to check out book of the month there's a link in my description use the code brit to get your first book for nine dollars and 99 cents again thanks so much book of the month for collaborating with me on this video now let's take a look at some of my christmas presents because i always just know that people like to see what people got for christmas i'm also always a bit curious just keep in mind that my family and i we really like to do presents and Christmas is definitely not about presents. It's of course it's about spending time with your family, but I just love buying presents for people. And apparently my entire family likes that. So let's take a look at a few of the Christmas presents that I got. I already like um, clean up everything, which I shouldn't have done because now everything is already around my apartment, but I will show you a few Christmas presents. Okay, let's take a look at some of the books first. The first one is a really cool diary. It's called The Six Minute Diary. I've really wanted this one for a long time because I saw a friend of mine, um, she used this and it's basically just six minutes every day talking about something you're grateful for, how you're going to make today a great day, a positive affirmation, a good deed for today, something I can improve and some fun things I just experienced today and just becoming more aware of your days. I'm very excited to use this in a new year. Then I got my first Murakami book. I've never read anything by Murakami before and I always just recognize Kafka on the shore. No idea what it's about but I'm very excited to read it. Let me know if you've read this book. I'm very intrigued. Then I got one that's been on my wish list for a very long time. It's the comfort book by Matt Haig. If you're just feeling down or you know just having a bad day in this book he just wrote down a lot of little just thoughts about life and positive things and I just love Meth Haig so of course I wanted this book. Then I got one oh my goodness I already read this yesterday it took me 15 minutes to read and I cried for at least 10 of them it is called The Boy, The Mole, The Fox and The Horse written by Charlie Meckery. Oh my goodness I did not expect this to be so brilliant this is basically a sh like a, a graphic novel with very few texts but it's all about kindness and friendship and love and 
just life and the simple pleasures in life and it was absolutely beautiful it may be one of my favorite books i've read this year <laughs> it took me literally 15 minutes to read oh my goodness i'm so happy i got this i think it's also, it's also one of those perfect books that again if you're just you need a bit of motivation or whatever just read literally one page in this book <sighs> It was amazing. I also got a cookbook. I've wanted this one for a long time as well because I've been following Rachel Armour on YouTube for a while now and she makes the most amazing vegan recipes and I just want to learn uh, like some more fun vegan recipes. I'm not a vegan or vegetarian but I do like to just eat more vegan and vegetarian. So this is all tasty plant-based recipes for every day. Lots of fun recipes in here. There's this one stew in here. Oh my goodness, my friend Leora from Books with Leo, she can make this stew so well and every time I eat it over at her house, I'm just a very happy bean and it's in here. So I can't wait to make it myself. Then I also got a few books in the mail. These are also, I believe, for my birthday, but oh well. First of all, I got two books from Sabine from Sabine's Book Nook. Thank you so much, love. I got Fresh Water by Equaki and Metsy. I read the other book, um, Pet, which was so good. So of course I wanted to read this one as well. I have to say, I don't really know what it's about. <laughs> But I've heard amazing things. Then I also got a non-fiction, Everything I Know About Love, written by Dolly Elderton. And I also heard that this one is amazing. It's everything I know about love. <laughs> Probably also about self-love and just friends, family, loved ones. Very excited to read this too. Then I also got one from Riddy. Thank you so much. She sent me Stephen Fry's Meth Methos. I hope I'm pronouncing it right. Methos? I never said this title aloud. Methos. The Greek myths, myths. <laughs> I can never pronounce this word. The Greek myths retold, myths. I recently read another book about Greek mythology, loved it, and now I want to read this one as well, like very much. Yes, thank you so much. Then on Christmas day again, I got a very fun game. It is called Joking Hazard. I believe this is kind of like Cards Against Humanity, but then a little bit different. It's sort of creating a story with three different cards. I'd never heard of it before, but I got this one from my brother and his girlfriend and they said it's really fun. And I'm very excited to like play this with my friends. Another fun thing I got from them is this disposable camera. So I've been taking some photos this month and I have like 17 photos left. I'm loving this very much. It also gave me a little photo album to put the photos in when I, um, you know, got them printed. Can't wait to see how these photos turn out. I got very spoiled by my brother and his girlfriend. They also got me the Hourglass um, Unlocked Instant Extensions Mascara. I've wanted this one for a very long time because I heard it's amazing. And I can't wait to start wearing this, but it's not waterproof. So I'm gonna wait until it's a bit warmer because if it's this cold and like there's a lot of just moist in the air, <laughs> My mascara always, you know, goes running, goes running down my um, under eye circles. <laughs> so I'm gonna wait. Maybe if I'm just at home for an entire day, I'll wear this. But oh my goodness, I'm very happy. And then I also got some shot glasses <laughs> because I didn't have any shot glasses. So I got those for my parents. And then my most favorite thing is a new kettle. Because my kettle is very much like in your face whenever you enter my kitchen and the one I had was just very ugly. It was just a simple black one and it just didn't look aesthetically pleasing whatsoever. But this one from Smech, oh my goodness, it's so gorgeous. So whenever you enter my kitchen, you will see this beautiful kettle surrounded by some plants. I feel very much like an adult because the kettle makes me so excited. Oh, I also got a new pan like a frying pan because I'm an adult and I asked for pens and kettles for Christmas. So these were some of the gifts I got for Christmas. Oh my goodness, I've been spoiled a lot and I'm just very happy with all these beautiful gifts and I can't wait to use all of them. I've used my kettle loads of times already. Oh, and also a few other things I got for Christmas that I didn't get like on Christmas day. These beautiful handmade earrings. I got them from Leora from Books with Leo. She got them on Etsy. Oh my goodness, this is like exactly my color. Look how well it matches with my wall. So I wore these first and second Christmas day. Leora also got me this cute tea. This is Sagittarius tea and goddess tea. Also from Etsy, I believe, with this amazing spoon. If this like screams fantasy, it makes me think of The Hobbit or like Lord of the Rings. And then from Quirina, another friend, she has an amazing Instagram, by the way, I will link it down below. She gave me Karma from Lush. This is like a solid perfume, which is so freaking cool. She also got me two little um, 
bracelets. Wait, one second. Got them. She also made these herself. Look how cute. Oh my goodness. Amazing. And then on Christmas Day, I also got um, some rituals products, a scrub, my favorite body butter ever and my favorite shower gel ever. Basically Rituals is my favorite beauty brand ever. <laughs> I also got my Advent calendar from Rituals. Oh, and also a little hand sanitizer. This one smells so good. So these were also some other Christmassy gifts all for my birthday or Christmas. It's always like my birthday is five days before Christmas. Um, but yeah, so, so, so grateful. Thank you all so much. But now, shall we do it? Shall we redecorate my bookshelf? I'm a bit scared <laughs> because it's a lot of work, but what I'm first going to do is take off all the books on my shelf, clean my shelves. I'm going to um, like organize them all into genre and then we'll just see what is going to happen. Let's do this. I just took all the little bits and bulbs off my shelf and now I'm going to put all the books down here. Oh, this is gonna be quite something. Okay, I organized all of the books, sort of, into genres. Um, shall we just do it? I like I just reorganized these a little bit because these books will just stay on these shelves. Um, so I didn't feel like they had to take them out because it's all the same genre. But yeah, shall we do a quick tour? Like young adult fantasy and just some normal fantasy, some adult fantasy, some just fiction contemporary fiction, adult fiction, as well as some dark academia, some Dutch books, some graphic novels, some poetry and classics. Then we have historical fiction. Yes, I still have my Christmas tree. <laughs> it's like the 29th of December. Um, these are all my non-fiction, lots of non-fiction. I'm loving this. Then we have middle grade romance and contemporary um, young adult. We have thrillers back there. This is some magical realism. Um, let's see. There we have like historical fiction as well, but these are like 70s, 60s, 70s books inspired like in the era. Um, that one is a thriller. <laughs> then we have, what's it called? Science fiction. You know what? Oh, I'm completely zoomed in. <laughs> that makes more sense. We're just gonna do it. I'm gonna see how much I'll be able to fit on these shelves and also where I'm going to put all of them because I want to put all my favorite books like, you know, right there and right there. Oh, I'm excited. Let's do this.
Okay, I need to be very creative right now because I still have all of my young adult fantasy and dystopian. And this is all I've got left. No, I need to... Um, I'm gonna mix up some of my sci-fi with some of my adult fantasy. Can do something over there maybe. But I just needed more shells for my non-fiction because now I have nearly two shells of non-fiction. And before this I put it into one shell. So... Oh my god, I'm nearly falling <laughs> over my books. <laughs> Let's uh, try to get all these books in there. managed to fit all the books on my shelf. <laughs> now it's time for the most exciting part. Putting back all of these cute decorations to make it look just fun. And I'm also going to change it up a bit up there as well. Yes, I'm very happy. Okay, let's do a quick tour. So on top, I didn't really change too much. They're just my plants, a fake plant, fake plant, a photo. Um, yeah, not too much. So let me see, right here, back there, I have some like historical fiction, like the 60s and 70s theme, then some magical realism, a couple of random books. <laughs> then right here, I have more historical fiction, um like all about greek mythology books about the second world war and then here i have some thrillers then down here some more historical fiction maybe i should change this yes might do that oh well then this is part of my non-fiction shelf so we have okay this is some poetry then we have some books just about people um from history some about titanic some more about people more people and these are some like self-help books then here I have more non-fiction, so all about just the history of humankind, space, the universe, science, and some more about just people and racism and um, politics. Then we're going, we've already done this one, then this one is um, adult contemporary fiction as well as just, again, some random books. <laughs> but mostly just adult fiction, some dark academia in there as well, more adult fiction. Then down here I have all of my classics with my little gnome who's living here. This is the cutest thing ever look. Oh. <laughs> Amazing, a little gnome lives here. Um, yes, my classics. We've already done this shelf. Okay, so this with like fantasy and non uh, fantasy and science fiction is a bit of a mess because honestly it just did not fit anymore. However, I have like science fiction over there. Um, just adult science fiction as well as young adult science fiction. Some young adult dystopian as well as some <laughs> um, adult fantasy, more adult fantasy and young adult fantasy mixed up because it, honestly it just didn't fit anymore. I need another shelf or I need extra shelving but then the shelves will get really like narrow which I also don't really like so for now it's a stacked a bit but I just try to cover it up with some plants and then down here we have some graphic novels um some more adult young adult fancy this is actually a young adult thriller but oh well I don't really have that much young adult anymore so I just put it here more young adult fantasy and some more young adult fantasy and then over here we have all of my romance young adult contemporary basically just young adult romance and middle grade and then down here I have some of my Harry Potter books here as well um, and these are some Dutch books and just some little bits and bobs. So that is the overall new look of my shelf. It looks so much more neat because it was one gigantic mess. So I'm very happy, yes.